Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Jesus, where we just talked for a few minutes about a story that concerns Jesus or a story that he told. Well, let me start out by, I guess, explaining um, what's going on with my face. <laughs> I saw the video last Sunday, and I realized I got a big spot here on my nose and one here on my chin. Um, a week ago, I had uh, two spots on my, one up here on my forehead and one here on my nose, frozen uh, because the dermatologist was afraid that they have, they could turn into skin cancer. This spot right here was too big for her to freeze, and so she took a biopsy. And as a result of that, it's, uh, it's good size, and it hasn't healed over enough to where I can shave. So, uh, But I did notice that the spot on my nose has fallen off, so you don't have to look at that anymore, and the one on my forehead has fallen off. But this one is... Uh, still hasn't uh, healed enough where I can shave. So sorry about that. I hope that's not uh, too off-putting. Several people have commented on the video that I posted Sunday, what, what I was thinking last week about, about being generous and especially about the, the story that I told of meeting the uh, two young individuals on the train in Duluth when I was up there uh, in, in early August. And one of the questions that I was asked that has kind of stuck with me was, what was it about that email that really touched me? What was it about that email that impressed me? And it was a, it was a very well written email, but what, what touched me the most, what impressed me the most about it was just simply the fact that they said, thank you. And it reminded me of a story that is recorded in Luke chapter 17. Beginning in verse 11, Luke writes, On the way to Jerusalem, he, that is speaking about Jesus, was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Ten men afflicted with leprosy were cleansed. They asked for mercy. Jesus showed them mercy, cleansed them from their leprosy, cured them of that awful disease. And only one turned around and praised God and gave Jesus thanks. Ingratitude is not a condition solely for the 21st century in the United States of America. It existed in that day and age that Jesus lived. And it existed long before Jesus ever showed up on the scene. My guess is if you ask the other nine men if they were thankful, they would probably all say yes. After all, they have, at that point in time, the worst disease known to mankind. It was incurable. And Jesus just cured them. I'm sure they were thankful. But for whatever reason, they just they just couldn't say thanks. They couldn't be bothered with saying thanks and praising God. I know all of us as children of God are thankful for God's love and his mercy and his patience and his kindness and his long suffering and his mercy and his gentleness and his faithfulness. We're, we're thankful for God and for every attribute he possesses. And we're thankful for Jesus, and we're thankful for the Holy Spirit. 
The question is not so much, are we thankful? The question is, are we going to give praise to God for his love and his mercy and his patience and all the wonderful attributes that he possesses? Are we going to tell Jesus, thank you? Are we going to give the Holy Spirit, are we going to tell him we're thankful for his guidance and comfort? It's not enough to say that we're thankful, but we ought to show that we're thankful. And I appreciate these two young people reaching back out to me and saying, thank you. So since you're grateful for what God and Jesus and his spirit have done for you, tell him that you're thankful and show him by the way that you live, that you're thankful. Well, I pray that you'll have a great day.